right, we're headed south. We're almost to the end of Mo Arc Road. You can see the pipe fencing on the right and the left. Uh, that's from the original Buffalo Ranch. Okay, so the paved road is, is coming to an end. Straight ahead, you can see the neighbor's red gate. We're actually gonna go left onto this gravel road here. You can see that spotting tower. That's one of the spotting towers from the Buffalo Ranch. Pretty cool. Okay, so we kind of hung a left and in a moment we'll continue south on the gravel road. Uh, but if we look off to the east here, this is the trail that uh, will go down to State Line Cove. It's actually not part of Timber Shoals Ranch. It just happens to be um, going over a property that that uh, we still have and you're welcome to use that. Okay, so as we continue south, we'll cross through this next pipe fence and now we're actually in Arkansas. You can see Bull Shoals Lake through the trees there. Since we're on a peninsula, the lake is, well, it's on three sides of us, basically. To the right is, uh, I guess that would currently be the closest neighbor. That probably would have been the main house for the Buffalo Ranch. And now it's a uh, uh, retired gentleman and his wife that live there. Beautiful lake view. This meadow over here off to the left is where we often see deer and turkey, especially if you come out here you know, fairly early in the morning, eight or nine o'clock. Um, we've seen as many as 40 deer in that field and tons of turkeys as well. And they always uh, head to the south. They always go deeper into the peninsula. So they just love it out here. My truck's a little upset because I didn't rebuckle my seatbelt. Okay, so on the left you can see kind of this old pole barn. And it's a good landmark because that's where we come to the first Y in the road. Okay, we can continue straight or we can go left at this Y. Okay, so for the property we're gonna check out, we're gonna stay to the right. Which I guess you could kind of call the the main drag out here. This is the, if you just continue on this one all the way to the south, this is uh, what will take you to that sandy beach area, which is really cool. I haven't been out there for uh, probably a month or two now, but uh, really awesome area for uh, fishing and swimming and whatnot. Looks like we had a ton of rain. This road is a little, a little chewed up here. On these gravel easement roads, you definitely do want a truck or an SUV. Um, Four-wheel drive is great, um, but at least with a truck or an SUV, you have that clearance. Okay, so now we've come really quickly to a second Y in the road, and I can look at the MapRite map. You definitely do want to download the MapRite uh, app to your tablet or smartphone, and then we can send you the link for the particular property. And so, okay, so where we're going, we could have. Well, there's a few different ways you can go. That's where the MapRite app is handy. Um, we're gonna go left. So we're now leaving the main drag. We're gonna go left onto this easement road. And this is gonna take us into the property. So this road system has been in existence for, geez, 100 years, I'm not sure. Um, when we got the property, the roads had not been maintained for several decades. Um, I guess when this was a buffalo ranch, they really didn't have much of a reason to use these roads other than maybe by, with a four-wheeler. Uh, so the guys have been going through and kind of cutting out the, the trees and, and cutting back the limbs to make it possible to drive through in a, in a truck or an SUV. Uh, but even so, we wouldn't necessarily recommend that you come out here in your brand new uh, Denali or um, you know eighty thousand dollar Silverado. Um, I'm I'm in a newer truck, but it's kind of pre-scratched because it's used to roads like this. So if I get a scratch or two, it's not the end of my day. But uh, in a jet black eighty thousand dollar Denali, uh, a scratch would be probably a bad weekend. So <laughs> something to be aware of. Okay. Very, very private back here. Wow. We're 
we're getting just a little glimpse of sunshine finally. But the tree canopy is so thick that it makes it hard. Okay, where are we going here? Oh, actually, I'm going to stop right here and um, take a look at the map right. Okay, so actually where we are right now, that's track 70 on the left, uh, on the east side of the road. So let's take a quick look at the map right app. Um, this is Mo Arc Road. This is where we jogged to the left onto the gravel road. We, uh, let's see here. We came to that first pole barn and we stayed to the right. We came to that second Y in the road and we stayed to the left. And then we went a few hundred yards and now um, this is track 70 on the, whoops, oh no. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're parked right here, uh, and this is track 70 on the left side of the road. So I'm not sure how we'll do this. Um, we might as well just hop out right here and, and we'll take a look, see what we can see. So this actually has road frontage on three sides. Um, so you can, you can access it different ways. You don't necessarily have to come in the way that we came in. Old fence there, that's interesting. So on a property this size, you're gonna have level areas, you're gonna have sloping areas, you're gonna have just everything. Uh, this area where we are here on the north side looks to be fairly level, actually. I see a lot of big mature hardwood trees. Just a little bit of blue sky. I wish the sun would come out. And then as we get deeper into the property, it starts to slope down, but it actually slopes down really gently. And we'll have to look at the topo map, uh, which I don't have with me to, to really see exactly how this is situated. But this actually looks really nice. There's a big hardwood tree. Wow, that's close to a 30 inch diameter oak tree there. Beautiful. You're gonna see so many deer in Turkey out here, deep in the peninsula like this. So this is actually really cool. We walked back into the property a couple hundred feet uh, and it's leveled off a little bit. So it, if you're looking for a site um, you know, more level for building versus sloped. I guess it depends on what you want to build, but I think the majority of people prefer to have some, some level area for their building site. This looks like this would be uh, pretty good for that. We've got all kinds of mature timber. I can see dozens of mature trees. Some smaller trees that would be easy to clean out um, to do your site or whatnot. And we'll do a drone video as well, like we always do, so you can really see how this is situated. Um, looks like a really nice property. All right, so we just did a little walk on the north side, and we came back to the truck. Let's drive a little further uh, to the south, see some more of the property here. So as we head to the south, everything you see on the left is going to be the property. This looks like a little seasonal creek bed coming through uh, about the center of the property. That's interesting. Oh, and here's the sign for Tract 70. So from where we are here, it slopes down gently off the road and then it levels out right away as you get back in a little bit. So I'm seeing it a lot of usable ground on this property. And 
just a moment we should come to another easement road that cuts off to the left and that actually borders the property as well. Oh, now this is interesting. It comes with a homemade deer stand. Let's take a look at that. I had seen this out here and I had forgotten completely about it. <laughs> so this is actually a pretty good deer stand. It's set up uh, on a scaffolding. There it is. So yeah, I mean, that, that's included. <laughs> that's part of the fun. It's actually within uh, the road easement. Uh, so at some point that would have to be moved. Uh, but there's no, no rush on that. Okay, so this is the road that um, cuts to the left. And the property is still on the left. As long as we're here, let's drive this road and we'll get a good, good look at this property today. Be sure to bring your four-wheeler or your side-by-side. -side. Man, you can have a ton of fun out here. There's something like 15 miles of, of uh, road system out of Timber Shoals Ranch. Okay, so now we're headed well, easterly, and the property is still on the left. These smaller trees that you see that are down in these limbs, that's, that's not from any logging, that's just from the guys clearing out these roadways. Oh man, there's some, some nice timber on this property. Big, straight hardwood trees. And this actually looks like maybe where that creek bed, uh, seasonal creek bed comes through. Because this little area crosses over the road right here. Okay. So now in a minute, we should see another road going to the left. And we're gonna take that as well. This is why you really, really need to get the MapRite app and have us send you the link for this because it is just about impossible to tell you where you are. Uh, I mean, if you're good with printed maps, then that's great. More power to you, but um, for me, having the map right is, is awesome. Some big cedars. Okay, so now we're headed northerly, basically, except we're along the east side of the property. So we basically, we more or less circled three sides of the property. It is still on the left. Lot of level ground on this property. There really is. This is really nice. You've got to be a hundred feet off the road for the setback, a minimum of a hundred feet um, for the road easement and the power easement, and also just for a buffer, kind of a privacy buffer. Okay, now we're coming out. We're at basically the north side again of the property, and if we continued to follow this road, uh, we would end up winding our way back through a couple meadows and, and uh, back where we started eventually. So despite the very cloudy day, this looks to be a really good quality property. A lot of level areas. Very, very private. And a nice mixed mixture of timber as well. We've got hardwoods, we've got cedars. Super nice. Even on a cloudy day, it looks really good out here. That's track 70 at Timber Shoals Ranch. You can check us out at instantacres.com.